Hey everyone, I'm Patrick Howell and today I'm going to show you how to make a dress form. So the first stage is to fit your model. Our model will be Georgia Peach. She'll be here shortly. And some of the things you're going to need for the fitting are going to be duct tape, saran wrap, a ruler, a tape measure, scissors, safety scissors, and a Sharpie. So let's get started. All right, this is our model, Georgia Peach. She's going to help us out today. Um, the first thing we're going to do is take her measurements. And uh, I've got my own measurement sheet here. Maybe you have one of your own. We'll start with the waist. Okay, now we're going to duct tape. <laughs> But first, we're going to saran wrap our victim. I feel like I'm an extra on CSI right now. <laughs> okay, we put your hand there mm -hmm. and spin it for me. Now we have uh, the model wrapped in saran wrap so the duct tape doesn't stick to her undergarments or her skin. Now we're going to start 
with the duct tape. I like to start at the waist. Uh, you don't want to squeeze your model too tight, and you want to get as much detail as possible. All right, now we're going to start to uh, crisscross the bust and over the back and just try to get as much detail in this mid area. Like I'm going to, I'm going to cut that right here, oh. release the tension there. You might get a little, might get a little on you. It's a, I've never had any duct tape on my body before. We're celebrating Thanksgiving a little early. So I like to do a big crisscross. Well, that's not where I meant for that to go.
So, um, our model, the first thing we've done is we wrapped her in saran wrap, and we do that so that the duct tape doesn't stick to her body or uh, her undergarments. Uh, then we've wrapped her about twice. We wrap her around the waist to begin with, all the way down to, you know, just keep on going around and around. And then up at the top, we've done some crisscross to just uh, hold it all in place, and then layer by layer, all the way up to the neck, far out onto the arm as you can, and high up under the arm, so we can get a good arm hold. And then we just did a second layer of up and down. I like to do the center just to hold it all tight and each, uh, each line down kind of just smooths things out. So that's where we're at now. Now I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to start marking um, lines where you would normally have seam lines. So when I take this apart and build the dress form, you'll have a basic idea of where the seams are and it'll be the basis for your patterns. Okay, so I think the most important thing here is that we find the center front and the center back exactly. So I'm going to I'm going to draw my lines and then I'm going to measure her waist and try to make sure that I have dead center. You could do this with a hip as well. So we're going to start right here and if you look straight forward, I'll just find the center point. The center point between her busts and then Nice straight line, and then straight down. You can kind of judge by a person's knees. Now we're going to do some bust lines and just some contour lines where they look good.
I also like to do uh, kind of a corset contour line just to show where I might want our corset to hit. Okay, and then we've got one last thing I want to do. I want to make sure that the knee line is level. So when you make your dress form, it sits flat and level. So we need to find a ruler. So now we're just going to choose a measurement and just uh, go around with the marker. So 25 looks good. At this time, you can write on this that this is 25 inches from the floor. Alright, so this is what we've done. We've wrapped our model in saran wrap so the tape doesn't stick to her body or her undergarments. Then we taped all around, starting at the waist, uh, trying to get as much detail as possible. We taped all the way down to above the knee, all the way up and around the neck, close in around the arms, and we've marked all of our what would be possible seam lines, and this is going to help us break this pattern down into the dress form in our next step. So uh, you can mark as many lines on here as you like. Uh, I like a uh, corset line and I like the waistline. I like a bust cup line so I kind of know how far down I can cut a neckline. And what else? Um, all right. Safety scissors. Now we have some safety scissors so we don't kill our model. And we're going to cut right up the center back. Ouch! Oh, too early. Too soon. Now we have our duct tape shell.